it's Little Downham Regionals today. Let's go. Good morning then. And it is dark o'clock as somebody called it last vlog and it is very appropriate. It's actually, what time is it? See there? It's just gone past 5 a.m. So we are on track with Mr. Donut to get left in the next five to 10 minutes. Um, we're off to Little Downham Regionals. Donut, as you can see, is raring and ready to go. And um, we're very, very excited. Our dressage is like nine o'clock and then we've got a big gap. So I would usually buff him, but he actually is looking fine. He can have a groom when we get there and I'm plaiting him up when we get there. So I'm gonna stick travel gear on and we're gonna load up and get gone because I'm moving house as well. So it's been pretty busy time, but I'm hopeful we should have a good run because he's feeling great at the minute. So we are en route. It is now daylight outside. And um, Mom, tell us your opinion on the journey to Little Downham. I hate this journey. We are on the part oh. where we're on Fen Roads and the camber is quite bad. And then we go over lumpen bumps and God knows what. We're actually in a village at this stage and it's even here the road isn't great. So. Um, it's really mid 40 and I think it's a golden <laughs> road. Yeah, Mum says the speed limit being 40 is a goal, not a restriction. So um, it's nicer if you can drive in the middle of the road. Now, obviously, that's not that possible if there's cars coming the other way or ones behind us that need to overtake. But um, yeah, it's we're 35 minutes away, so it's a long old, old trudge once you come off of the main road but the event does tend to be worth, worth, worth it. So fingers crossed it is today. We're here. So I need to plot the mane and give Donny a groom. So I'm gonna crack on with that and then he'll look all beautiful in just a second. So this is our dressage test. It is a championship test because obviously we're at the regional finals, which is actually a badminton grassroots qualifier. Although I'd gone with the aim to give Donut a, um, a run around a 105 course because it's a much tougher course at regionals. And also it's good to get him in a long, a long arena in front of two judges. So um, I'll give you a rough average of the scores because obviously I've got two dressage sheets. And here we had to enter and at C track left. And we got a seven from one judge and a 6.5 from the other. Um, if you are noticing how I'm riding Donut, I'm actually riding him a lot rounder than I ever have and it's the purpose of doing this is to build up his muscles so with the way he's built he needs to come up through his wither and his, pop his bottom underneath him and pull his belly up and in order to do that I need him almost slightly behind the vertical to build the muscle up so um, I had a lesson with my friend Lizzie and she suggested doing that which I was quite shocked because um, I, I hadn't thought of it and it feels so much better and I've been trying to be very correct and always keep his nose at the vertical um, but obviously in order to build muscle you sometimes you have to do something slightly more and obviously it's not that he's incredibly overbent he's just got his nose a little bit behind but what I did find other than the fact that he's a little bit tense when he'd gone into that arena is he's a lot more rideable and because he'd gone a bit tense it was better to just put him in that rounder frame than to get um, the potential naughtiness that I can get from him as you can see we're going past the loose there he got quite tense before going into the arena um 
because someone had come out of the loo as we were going past and banged the door, which is one of those things. And with his job, he's going to have to get used to that. But um, with that, I then needed a few extra tools to help help us out and make sure that he um, concentrated and the likes. And it's really, really building his muscles up. So once his muscles are built up, he'll then be able to hold himself in that perfect vertical frame where his nose and pole are in line and a straight line up from the ground. As you can see there's some tension creeping in everywhere and he's a bit of a keen bean and he's aware that the cant is coming um, but there was still fairly good work going so up to this stage we were varying from 6.5s up to 8s um, with our scores and then we are now on the <laughs> give and retake the rain with the counter circle and we got a 7.5 for that from one judge and um, a 7 with a clear give and retake and I was very pleased with that and even though he flicked his head he does manage to maintain the canter and I thought that the trot was starting to really come much better now and the work was coming more through. Better canter transition there, although maybe slightly tense. You can see how he sort of tucks his bottom under and locks in his neck a little bit, which makes him a bit harder to ride. And then I have to work on getting him a little bit rounder. But then he settled down again. And the key to riding a test with a horse like Donut, probably a lot of thoroughbreds, is don't panic if they get tense and throw their teddies out the cot a little bit because there is always the next set of marks to come. Here is a half 15 meter circle back to the track and as you can see he suddenly just decided he wanted to dash off um, and I just again didn't panic just went okay then let's just do the trot and slow down and simmer down and we got falls for that movement with disobedient um, but then he managed to scrape it back and was back up to 6.5s and 6s for the last movement. So not perfect because he's kind of going, oh, I was just naughty, but not bad as well. And look at that, he was about square and then a fidget. <laughs> okay, dressage done. Donny's on the lorry. He's had some breakfast in the purple bucket and he's now gone on the lorry for a snooze. It's quarter to 10 and I showed him at 12 or so we're off to walk the course and mum is on supervision duty because we've got no Amy today. We're missing Amy. She's lovely. Um, dressage was, there was some good work and then there was some mistakes but um, I was quite pleased with him overall. Who knows what the score will be. I'll update you when I find out. But um, there's my big ginger beastie boy. Only one tantrum. And just like that, I have a dressage score. So en route to, to course walk, um, 31.4. So I think that was very, very fair for how the test felt. I've not watched it back yet, obviously, but let's get on with course walk. Okie dokie then, course walk time. So like I said, we came here for a 105 run and I think you will see as we walk the course how much um, bigger and more technical Little Downham likes to make a 105. So fence one, little curve round and a nice chair and then heading to fence two, which was quite a wide house. And then we were going into the slightly bigger boy stuff and that was a fairly big box. It wasn't shared with the meter, so it was definitely full up dimensions and straight into a question at number four so we had a log which was fairly close to the water and you would definitely see before taking off a few strides down a slope to a bit of a puddle in the ground and then curve round to another log on the way out so a fairly nice water but obviously quite early on the course then we joined back up with the 100 course nice little double here roll top to a slight curve or jump it on the angle skinny but obviously he'll be able to see what he's seeing on approach I think it was like four strides or so and then we had this fence on our own and we had to pretty much come out and do a bit of a u-turn to it and then obviously there's quite a large ditch under there and because you've had to turn they do get a proper rifle so as I was walking that fence I knew I'd have to be quite strong because Donut is quite a ditchy 
course and um, gets a little bit nervous to cane so I knew I'd have to really commit to that. Nice little let up box before water complex number two where we shared the first fence with the meter but instead of going straight on as you can see with those pink numbers we turned right into the water to do Donut's first competitive fence in the water. Um, which is exciting but we had a nice long straight run up and I heard when I was at Osbiton I heard someone doing a course walk for somebody and they said you do not look for a stride for a fence in the water so that was my theory when I walked the course I remembered what they'd said and I thought I will just keep him straight and kick I think so then straight away again to another combination really quite a technical course very substantial drop here quite a long way down and then a bit of a curving line to this corner which is really quite skinny and a fairly wide one so a real accuracy question and that just gives you an insight to um, how big that drop is and what the line looks like from behind. Then we go on to another combination so three combinations in a row to a what once was called a coffin but I don't think you meant to call them that now there so a log ditch log as we will call it a three-part combination obviously the first post and rail they can see the ditch so they have to be brave to keep going and as we said donuts ditchy so I really needed to ride him on then on to this another three-part combination um, an into space fence with a right turn here bear in mind that they might try and run out right and there's a tree holding in left so I would have my whip in my right hand just as a visual aid for him then a curving line left to do donuts first ever um, brush corner as you can see this fence is individually numbered so the other fence was part b and then this is a number 13 which means that you can do a circle if necessary but obviously if you want to make the time you go direct and again that's me just looking back on the fence from behind because sometimes if you can't see your line on approach it's easier to actually line it up from behind Okay, so he's already jumped one trichaena and a ditch, so he's on to another trichaena. Good ditch schooling today, and that was a much kinder trichaena because he could just get a nice straight line and keep riding forwards. Then a let up fence with that nice big box. They look substantial, but they jump really, really well. And on to another question. So step up, and then we're going for the blue flagged shoulder brush. As you can see, the ground's really undulating. And you need to take it into consideration and how it looks coming to the fences. So you can't just ride straight from the step to the shoulder brush. You need to jump the step, turn right, then turn left, square turn to get straight for your skinny. And um, I was going to hang left of the step as well, just to give myself a bit of space. Then another let up fence and two drops into the water. Water complex number three, just me falling down a step there. And um, he's never done a drop into water in competition. So I thought that would be interesting. And there's no let up there because straight away, as soon as we've landed in the water, we then come out to a combination. Notice that it's um, again, individually numbered for me. So that's 19A and then B. So I could have done a circle, but I wanted the time. So I wasn't planning on it. They're quite substantially wide boxes and fairly skinny, but in the past I've jumped them and they've jumped really well. It was just more a case of being accurate and lining them up. Then this pretty big fence to finish, but again, we're going to trust that they jump well and hope that we've had a wonderful cross-country round. Let's go show jumping. It's what I need Now if you wanna get the best of me Got you smiling That's for sure Funny how you had the best of you I don't know If I'll make it home I don't know But like I get it All I know Sound up the score Only know I want the best of five So I
It's windy, but I am so jumpy. I think we've come ninth, which is fab. That pesky pole knocked us out of a qualifying spot for badminton grassroots, but my God, he was incredible. And to be quite honest, um, my aim is slightly bigger than badminton grassroots, and I feel like that was a fantastic stepping stone towards it. So keep your fingers crossed for us, because. I am going ahead with the next stage of the plan um, and we're just going to go get my dressage test and um, get our rosette, clever boy donut, night at a regional. And it appears that my poor, tired, moving brain seemed to forget to sign off this vlog. So I thought I'd use the opportunity now to say thank you so much for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoy the vlog and there's lots more to come. So make sure if you enjoy it to like and subscribe and I will see you next time. Oh.